programa ay rated PG. Patnubay at gabay ng magulang ay kailangan sa mga batang manunood. Maganda gabi po sa inyong lahat. Tonight, my heart is filled with a sense of pride as I share with you three beautiful and inspiring stories. First, we have the story of Mel Chanco, the doyen of Philippine news and public affairs. Would you say that your life is complete now? Uh, no. My door is open, remember? <laughs> I like that! I like that! <laughs> then we have the story of Michelle Asensi, an adventurous teenager who made it big in the business world. I said, body care, mga soap, pabango. And then she said, do you have a feasibility study? And then I told her, no, but there are 80 million people in the Philippines and everybody takes a bath. And then she said, Oo nga, no? Sabi ko, see, if there's 1% na bumili sa atin, edi rich na tayo. And finally, the story of Lola Virgie, who may be poor, but knows the value of education. So, nung nakapagtapos na silang lahat, kayo naman po, parang nag-decide na bumalik sa pag-aaral. Oh, At oh. 65, nagsimula po kayo sa grade 1 muli. Oh, oh. This is Proudly Filipina. I'm Charlene gonzalez Mula. Proud to be a Filipina. I'm in search of her. She tells a unique story of a courageous beauty winning over adversity. She's trailblazing, truly inspiring. Join me as I chronicle the lives of women Who are proudly Filipina. We start with Mel Chanco, the face of GMA News and Public Affairs. Tonight, we give you the woman behind the legend as she bears her heart as well as her soul. The Guillermo Mendoza Foundation hereby bestows the recognition for Outstanding Public Service Award to Miss Mel Chanco. <laughs> Receiving awards year after year, delivering news and information every day. Always ready to help in case of natural calamities. If GMA News would have a face, it would be hers. She is Mel Chaco. Tito Mel Chanco at kakatapos lang ng 24 oras at naghihintay na siya para sa akin. Agad kong sasabihin, kung tunay na kaibigan, makikita sa TV yan. The Mel Chanco. She has changed the course of Philippine television. But not everything about her life was beautiful. There was that faithful day when from the pinnacle of her success as one of the top news broadcasters of a TV network, she had to go through a major challenge in her professional life, an event that almost cost her life. It was a massive heart attack. I could have died, really. But uh, that changed my life. It made me realize that the worst thing that can happen to a person in this world is to be sick. And worse than being sick is when you are sick and you don't have money to buy your medicines or to get medical attention. Alas 5.30 na naman ho, paglinggo. Ayaw. Ayaw. Oh. 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 Mel and Jay. Partners. Mel and Jay. Dito na ho yan ha, sa GMA. <laughs> Shetty yan, ganyan. <laughs> People made of lesser stuff would have probably given up. But Tita Mel continued to fight. She got up, dusted herself off, and started a new life in the Kapuso Network. Oh, yes. Were you looking back? Pag sinabi kong finish, 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 360 degrees, boom, no more. No looking back. No looking back. In my professional and my personal life, I'm like that. Ito isa sa pinakamalaking issue ng ating panahon. Hindi pinapaliwanag na patas kung ano ang abortion. Despite the intrigues, she never lost her credibility. Instead, she found a new sense of strength. Headlines bukas ngayon ng broadcast. Mel Tiangko po at ito ang front page. 
magandang gabi po sa pagbabalik ng sama-sama nating pagiging saksi. To this day, she continues to be part of the Filipino lives by delivering the news every evening with her self-respect intact. Kita nyo naman, pasakay, pasakay lang sa kotse. Marami pang instruction ang, ang aming as office assistant. Hindi natatapos ang trabaho at ang mga <laughs> kailangan gawin. Ako, ako kotse ako, isang kanto lang iniisip kong gano'n. Pero kadalasan, matrapik dito hanggang doon, kadalasan naglalakad na lang ako papunta sa studio. Pero ngayon, mukhang maluwag, magkokotse ako. Ayun po, ako ay pamunta na sa newsroom at doon naman, maghahanda naman ako para sa 24 oras. Was there a general principle or parang rule na sinusund, parang sinusunod mo sa buhay mo? Yes, you're responsible for your life. I am responsible for my life. Siguro po kilala niyo si Sandra Aguinaldo ng GMA News Department. Tita Mel ko. <laughs> Tita Mel ng lahat. Ang maganda. Okay. I like that. <laughs> Ang dunaanan po niya si Ate Leo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sa loob ng labing apat na taon, daladala ni Veronica ang bukong sa gawin kanan ng kanyang mukha. Ngayon ho, itutungo na ako sa dressing room para siyempre, paglapas ko naman sa 24 oras eh, maganda naman ang hitsura ko. Iba-iba hitsura ko na. Year after year, she gets the highest honors from the most respected award-giving bodies. Today, as the Executive Vice President of the Capuso Foundation, she has helped innumerable Filipinos in their most trying times. But in all her years of hard work, she still has idealistic dreams for the Filipinos. I hope to find something all right, that can make an impact on the lives of our people. I want something that really will will make them uh, have a better life. She faces the eye of the storm in the fiercest calamities. Not just to dish out the news, but also to extend her help and give hope to the disaster-stricken victims. She is uh, helping a lot of people because of her desire to do good to give back to society what God has given her. And so because of this uh, common interest, we have a passion for the work we do. She as a broadcast journalist and me as an audiologist. And so through the years, we learn to enjoy our work. Her tremendous passion for helping others was a value that she inherited from her father. My father, who is from Bataan, every Holy Week, we would go to his province in Bataan. And there, kami mga bata, we the children, kuminsan inaabot kami madaling araw, alam mo, magtatakal-takal kami, ano, supot, 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 bigas, asukal, sardinas, and he would give that away um, Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday, he would give that away to beggars. Hi, love! Mel led a very happy childhood, but when she turned 16, a traumatic event happened. Her beloved father died. How did his death actually change your life? I learned to be independent. All of us learned to be independent when our father died. He was a very doting father, and so we all depended on him. But when he left us, we needed to be on our own. Tita Mel is a public person but values her privacy. But tonight, she allows us to peek into her personal life. This, when we return. Would you say that your life is complete now? Uh, no. 
My door is open, remember? <laughs> I like that! I like that! When I see a Filipina, I try to picture her story. What moves her? 20 years now working with food. I love playing with nature. What makes her extraordinary? I guess challenged by it all. And uh, it made me even, you know, you know, want to succeed even more. I wonder what makes her cry. You've been hurt, you've been hit, you've been... I was to but I'm not, I'm not going to be hit anymore. And what she plans to leave behind. I really want to study how it is to, to build better athletes. For the Philippines. All the world must know. Proudly Filipina with Miss Charlene Gonzalez Mula. Friday nights at 7 on Q. Bakit nga ba ang sarap ng Chicken Joy? Kasi mula sa timpla at luto. Crispy licious, juicy licious. Jollibee Chicken Joy. In every step, made of joy. Sali ng University of the East sa Maynila, nasusunog. Malakanyang, pinaiimbestigahan ng madugong pagtaboy sa mga nagprotestang magsasaka sa Kidapawan City. Bilang ng mga nasawi, tatlo na. At naimbentong tinidor sa Japan, kaya raw gawing lasang maalat ang pagkain kahit walang asin. Pagtaluhan natin may eat na balita mamaya sa Balitang Hali. As she delivers the news, we implicitly trust her. Her credibility quotient is quite high. But how well do we really know Mel Chang? At ang tagumpay ay hindi mailap sa mga taong porsigido, marunong magtsaga, at buo ang loob. With all her awards and professional achievements, Tita Mel could actually be considered a late bloomer in the broadcast industry. She was already in her mid-30s then and she had just broken up with her husband, the father of her four children. She wanted to do something with her life, to rise again from the ashes of her broken marriage. I was at a crossroads in my life. I had just split from my husband, okay? And I, I wanted a totally different life. I wanted a life that was my own doing. Uh, over Channel 9, all right, they were announcing auditions for newscasters. I borrowed a blazer from my sister, okay, and I painstakingly put a little makeup on, okay. Sa salitang palasak, in short, in gutter language, no, kapalmoks ako. Kapalmoks? Kapalmoks, you see. Like, uh, I didn't care, you know, I just wanted the job. So I went there and auditioned. And you're right, this is the martial lawyers. And at that time, it was always uh, political p uh, patronage, you know, to get a job in a government uh, entity, a government uh, establishment. You need to have connections, diba? But I didn't have any connections. I just went there, you know, this Edwin Fargas told me, you go look for this guy, you go. I went and went to look for this guy, and I got the job. Unluckily, her stint as a newscaster on Channel 4 did not last long. Martial law was declared, several broadcast journalists lost their jobs. Mel was among them. You were about ready to quit. I was not about ready. I was, I quit already. Wala na. Tapos na I was already out of Channel 4. And so one day, one of those in this group no, came to me and said, Alam mo, sabi niya, ano may opening, mag-open ng ABS-CBN. Sabi niya ganyan. Gusto mo? Sabi ko, hindi, ayoko na. Ayoko na talaga. Tapos sabi niya, eh pero kami gusto namin mag-audition. Sabi niya, gusto namin mag-apply. So kailangan, samahan mo kami. Kasi? Kasi wala kaming pamasahe. So isa-isa tinanong kami, what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Sa pagpunta sa akin. What did you do? I was a newscaster, I said, no? And did you newscast in Tagalog? I lied. I said, yes, sir. <laughs> there were five, six of us. I was the only one that, that was... they called back. Ang sagot sa krisis sa tubig, artificial na pagpapaulan o cloud seeding. Oh, Luck was on Mel's side again. By some twist of fate, she was given the opportunity to deliver the news on cam again. After a while, she was offered a show on the radio. This is where her charity work started. 
Imang Yang group called her and asked support from her. From that fateful day, she never looked back. Until now, she continues to extend help to the less fortunate. And the rest, as they say, is history. Narating man niyang tugatog ng tagumpay. Of course, if Tita Mel is a perfectionist at work, she is just as a perfectionist at home. I just like to uh, work in the house. I like cleaning the house. I love cleaning the house. I'm not much of a cook. I try to cook, but I am more, met I'm more uh, meticulous when it comes to cleaning the house. So you see, I'm, uh, I'm the kind who goes around doing this on my furniture. You know? <laughs> Are you a perfectionist? Yeah, yeah, I'm that kind. I'm the kind who walks around in my house on barefoot. Why? Because I want to see if there's, there's dust on the floor. She is tough at work and also just as tough as a single mom of four. Nabigyan niya kami ng maganda na future because she really strived to be able to um, give us all the benefits that a parent wants to give to a child, like education. Kahit na nung times na medyo wala masyadong pera, she'd, she'd really make it a point to send us to the best schools. Now, her children are all grown up, living their own successful lives. We are okay. We're a okay. There's really nothing to complain about. My children are all uh, uh, loving children. You know, I always tell my friends, you know, let's not talk about you know what we want from our children. It's simple. When you feel that your children love you, that's it. What more do you want? Would you say that your life is complete now? Uh, no. My door is open. Remember. <laughs> Despite the numerous awards that Mel has received over the years, being able to help the less fortunate Filipinos and raising her own children well are for her her greatest achievements of all. But of course, I have to ask you this question what? before we go. All right. Is who is the Filipina that you are most proud of? I'm proud of my two daughters. My daughter, my older daughter, you know, she's on her second marriage. Okay. So she made the first mistake. All right, but how she's able to pick up the pieces and uh, and uh, and make uh, a, a good life, no, out of, of that, no, is it, to me it's admirable how she was able to change that, you know. And then I'm very proud of my other daughter too. You know, this daughter of mine who was a model then, okay, and who was, you know, who I thought then was uh, was so concerned about how she looked and she because she was tall and pretty and you know now she's a housewife and i see how she dotes on her two children and how beautiful her house is how good she is at you know at interior decoration how how loving she is with her husband i am proud of them mel chanko a woman of exceptional talent grace and strength not even the biggest of life's challenges triumphed over her she held on rising from every fall to come out victorious stronger than ever wearing her battle scars like medals of valor and courageously serving as the vessels of blessing to those who most need assistance and care Tita Mel, you are definitely a Filipina to be proud of. I'm Mel Tianco, and I'm proudly Filipina. How important is education for someone who can't afford it? The answer, when we return. <laughs>